What's up YouTube, it is Essa here and welcome guys uh, to another player career video and I haven't done one of these in a while so you might have to go back and watch the last video if you want to keep up to date but uh, you can tell from the title we are back in Manchester obviously uh, the previous two seasons we've obviously you know we're obviously based at Manchester United that is our team but we've been loaned out in the previous two seasons because uh, we simply haven't been good enough to, to kind of compete and um, stay or, or at least play at Manchester United so this season it looks like we are we haven't been loaned out and obviously we're a striker and we do have some a little bit more competition you can just see the uh, United bought uh, Soldado for 22 million and obviously you know United have got the likes of Van Persie um, and Rooney so you know it's a lot of competition and um, I was actually quite surprised that uh, we were picked for this first game against Villarreal who um, I think we'll put up a good test. I mean, they're not certainly not the strongest of sides, but you know they certainly aren't the easiest as well. Um, and they showed that in this art, uh, in this uh, the first half of this game, they really were controlling things. Um, you can just see their their passing percentage was a lot higher than ours, um, and they were controlling things. And they just couldn't they just couldn't uh, finish their chances, um, and that was kind of what they lacked. I mean, other than that, they were doing everything perfect. You can see a brilliant ball. But again, they just couldn't finish those chances. They couldn't finish that last step to get them that goal. And uh, because of that, it did end in the first half 0-0 uh, uh, between both of the sides. In the second half, Villarreal just uh, just continued to where they left off in the first half. You can just see hitting their post, getting a little bit unlucky. Um, we did start getting a little bit better. You can see a passing uh, got a little bit better there on the counter-attack. Valencia, a nice turn away from the defender. Our player took the ball, but you can just see there. It was a nice tackle there from the Villarreal defender and how about this for for some play here some nice pass in there from Villarreal a beautiful cross in and look at that for the shot from Bruno that was a really nice team goal there and uh, it got Villarreal the goal they, that they deserved in the end um, and it really was a nice goal to watch you can see Bruno first time finish a nice volley there into the bottom left corner of the goal and uh, we did bring on Nani for Valencia just to kind of um, get some more energy onto that wings and hopefully try and bring a goal um, and yeah, that was 1-0 to, to Villarreal and straight after that you could just see there Nani got into into the flow of things straight away uh, playing in, I think it was, yeah, playing in Asper there a little bit of a skill there I thought, well, um, outside the box here it's going to be hard uh, to get through them take a shot there, goalkeeper couldn't save it and Fletcher was there in the right time and position uh, in the 84th minute to, to finish things up and get us the goal obviously Fletcher um, hasn't be, we haven't seen him in the in the United States for a long time now, but I do think he's returning this season. I'm not exactly sure, but um, apparently he he has been in training, so it'll be it'll be good to see him back because he is a he is a good quality player. And um, we getting back to this now. Um, second game we were picked again, and uh, this game was against uh, Osasuna, obviously another um, Spanish opposition. So um, I was expecting, I guess, uh, a similar a kind of a similar kind of type of play from. Uh, from Osasuna than uh, than Villarreal. Um, first half, it, it wasn't the most entertaining half. It was nil-nil between both sides. Um, Osasuna did have a few chances. You can just see the um, De Gea finish, uh, saved that well. Um, but again, it wasn't the most clear of such chances. And as I said previously, this was a pretty boring game. I mean, hardly any of us had chances. You can see the maturing of 6.6. .6. It just wasn't the game uh, to remember. So we moved on then to our final friendly match. And uh, this was a game against Bresky or Bresci, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce that, but um, I didn't really know much about him, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but what I can say that is that um, we did play a lot better in this match, and you can just see there from the clips. Um, obviously, they had a chance there, but um, we had a lot more chances in this in this game, and um, some very poor goalkeeping there from their from their goalkeeper. Um, and uh, I think I kind of. Uh, if you if you watch back again, um, the goalkeeper kind of failed to to save a shot uh, previously, and uh, I thought, oh, why not have another go with the goalkeeper? Um, and I think it was a good shot. I got a lot of power behind it, but that really is some bad goalkeeping. He should have saved that, and um, in the end, it did end in the back of the net, and that gave us the one 0 lead and a goal as well for us. I was a, it was our first goal of the season, and uh, we kept on the pressure on on Brescia, um, and we were playing very well football, really good football, and um, you could just see a nice one-two pass. And uh, Wayne Rooney finished that went off well in the 68th minute of the game. And that goal uh, did obviously extend our lead to 2-0. And uh, it was a really nice goal, a really nice team goal. And uh, it just showed in this game how well the team was playing and how much it improved from our first game in Villarreal. You could just see the shot there just going past the post. 
Um, and this was again some really nice play here. Our player running in, and uh, boom, there we go in the bottom left corner of the goal. I did actually aim for that far corner, but um, yeah, you could see I was very happy how it turned out because uh, it did end up as a goal. Again, you know, you could say poor, poor goalkeeping there, um, but still, you know, I wasn't complaining because uh, it did get us the goal. And yeah, it was. I was happy with that game to get in the getting the two goals, and you could just see their beautiful 9.7 match rating to finish off. And it was nice to finish with a with a win in our last uh, or final friendly game. So um, we moved on to the Premier League. This is where the real stuff starts, really. Um, and obviously we were on high after that friendly game um, against Brescia, but obviously they were the toughest of, uh, toughest of our positions. Aston Villa obviously are another uh, class up, but you could just see there Wayne Nuri with an amazing goal there in the 15th minute of the game and our player did actually get an assist there as well which I was happy about because we don't normally obviously get assist but what a goal that was a beautiful strike from outside the box on his left foot so that gave us uh, a one-day lead uh, Aston Villa obviously do have some pretty good players the likes of Ben and you could just see there he's causing some problems for our defense uh, putting it across but there was no one there to meet us so half time we were in at 1-0 up uh, we did have some chances there Kagawa just missing uh, that opportunity there you can see they took the shot but it just kind of swerved out and um, unfortunately it couldn't uh, you couldn't get that one on target but still we ended up with a 1-0 a one -nil, a one -nil win over Aston Villa with that early Wayne Rooney goal and uh, it was good to start off uh, to be involved in that first goal it was good to start off with it with the three points um, and here we had another game and this uh, another Premier League game this time it was a game against Fulham uh, our first home game of the season as well and uh, Fulham first few minutes of the game played very well uh, you can see they got an early goal there, uh, a nice shot there into the bottom left corner of the goal, giving De Gea no chance. But after that, it was just uh, it was just a crazy game, really. Um, it was a very entertaining game, and it all started there with a uh, with our player. Um, you can just see they're running across the rocks, and uh, what a goal that was! 31st minute, our first goal uh, of the Parkley's Premier League, and uh, what a goal that was! You can just see there just. Uh, kind of just staying off of defenders finding some room and uh, left foot we, we seem to be scoring a lot on our left foot I don't know what it is um, but that left foot it seems to be could be coming our kind of right foot um, but moving on on to this next goal Keen who we were playing alongside I wasn't too sure who he is uh, I'm not too sure who he is I think he's probably just a young guy like us as well who's just come up from the youth or something like that I'm not exactly sure where he's come from or, or what his background is but uh, yeah he did get that goal uh, but right on the stroke of half time, Fulham did hit back. So that went that at half time, the scores were level at 2 all, and they're very um, obviously entertaining first half. And going on to the second half, things got better for a 65th minute. A beautiful strike from our player. They're getting our second goal of the game, our second Premier League goal. And uh, what a performance this was turning out to be, not just from our player, but from our team as well. You could just see there. Uh, just outside the box, right foot strike into that corner, right corner of the goal, the far post, and uh, that gave us uh, the lead over over Fulham. And obviously Fulham were looking for that uh, that equaliser late into the game. Uh, we broke through here on goal, and obviously near post. You got to go for near post in FIFA 13. It is so overpowered in this game. And uh, yeah, again we were finishing off with our left foot, so that uh, gave us our hat trick of our game, which I was so happy about. Our first home game of the season, and we go and get a hat trick, which. Uh, which is just amazing to get um, and obviously 4-2 I mean you were thinking surely we can't get any more goals but uh, we did actually go on to get another goal there Valencia who obviously doesn't score much and um, did actually grab a goal here nice pass there from the midfield I'm not exactly sure who it was uh, but then a cool collected finish there from Valencia and uh, smashing it into the corner of the goal and uh, yeah we can see there uh, a nice uh, a nice victory there at our first home game and a nice match performance from us as well 9.7 match rating and uh, three goals to go with it. You can see the SA scores three for the match ball. And next game was a huge game. It was a game against Real Madrid. I wasn't exactly sure what, what type of game this was. Um, I, f at first, I thought it was a group game uh, for the Champions League. But it was actually um, a, uh, a UEFA Super Cup game. But we'll go on to that later. First of all, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this. Uh, you can see that we had a contract offer from Tottenham Hotspur. Um, and... I wasn't actually sure what to do. I mean, um, obviously Tottenham are, are an amazing side and it, and it would be amazing to play for them. And I want to get you guys a little bit more involved in the series. So I'm going to stall it for now. But I want to ask you guys if you can tell me in the comment section below what you would like me to do. Would you like me to accept the offer or reject the offer? So please, 
um, if, if, if you uh, could uh, just pause this video for now and uh, just go into the comments and, and tell me what you would like uh, if you would uh, like to accept that offer stay in United or uh, go to Tottenham. Um, so moving on to this game Real Madrid, like I said I thought it was a UEFA Champions League group stage game uh, but it was actually the UEFA Super Cup game where the, um, the, the win of the Europa League wins the uh, versus the uh, win of the Champions League. Now I wasn't exactly sure who won who because obviously I wasn't at United last season um, but I'm guessing that United won the Europa League. I'm not exactly sure but um, Real Madrid were just <laughs> awesome in this first half. Um, I really did struggle against them, and you're going to see that Real Madrid did uh, we're one nil up um, going into the first half. Higuain with the goal, and they they just kept on, you know, showing their class. You can see Modric with the acrobatic effort there. Um, I, I mean, I tried my hardest. I was I was putting in some shots outside the box, um, and it just wasn't working. So later into the game, you thought, why not just whip in across? Rooney was there, and there we go, guys. What a beautiful header that was from Wayne Rooney, but in Ica. Uh, Casillas and it was nice to get another assist from Rooney and uh, our partnership with Rooney seems to be building obviously in that first game against Aston Villa we did give him an assist as well and it was nice to see um, our uh, well Rooney and our player playing well um, so uh, obviously you know you wait for Super Cup it's only going to be one winner there's no two legs there's only one chance um, so it was uh, obviously extra time into this game you can just see they're putting in a goal I'm not exactly sure who that was, but um, whoever it is had a lot of pace. I think it was Nani. Yeah, it was Nani. Um, obviously showing his pace there, uh, meeting our our ball in. And yeah, that gave us the 2-1 lead. But Real Madrid, I mean, weren't finished there. Jose Carleon finishing that one well. 111th minute. Not many, not much time left after this. So I thought, well, it must be going penalties. And um, that is exactly where it went to. It went to penalties, guys. I'm going to let you guys enjoy this now. I'm not going to spoil it for you. It's, it's, it's actually very entertaining, obviously, this penalties. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to give this video a like. Uh, also, please feel free to comment in the section below as well. Um, obviously, you know that Tottenham that Tottenham decision, which I was uh, on about earlier. Uh, please uh, tell me your thoughts on that as well in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, subscribe because I have a lot more FIFA video coming. And uh, yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of the penalty shootout, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. What a good way to score. Super goal. Penalty now, Luka Modric. He's rather blasted at that, hasn't he? Robin Van Persie to step up to the penalty. That's the type of penalty that's named after Penenka from uh, Czechoslovakia back in the 70s, but plenty have followed since. Wonderful when the keeper moves left to right when he stays still. You look at Paul. Oh, that's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. He never looked as though he thought he was going to fail. Thing is that once you've made up your mind which side you're going to put it, you stick to that, and he did. And he's put it in. Well, when it works, Martin, great. When it doesn't, you look a right ball, don't you? Well, he knows now. One successful shot, and they've won it. And he's put it away to get the winning penalty. Well, it can look easy, can't it? And he's made it look easy there. Oh, the penalty shootout, such a nerve-wracking event, and it's been decided by that. I hope you've enjoyed it. From Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, we'll see you next time. Well, what a wonderful moment, the final whistle for these players. They have done it. Against all the odds, the cup is theirs. And there's no better feeling to produce your best in a final just when it matters. And those boys have there today.